Congratulations, Dylan Van Barl. Congratulations to Jumbo Visma because it was the magic formula in his first race of the season, in his first race with a new team, Jumbo Visma. He pulls off victory on site here in Ninove, Belgium for the Omloop Het Newsblot. And Dylan Van Barl, you remember him last year. He won Paris Nice. Well, he won it in the colors of Ineos Grenadiers. Over the off season, the Dutchman signed with his home super team, Jumbo Visma, parked right over my shoulders there, celebrating the victory. And it was truly a team victory because there is an escape of seven men out there today. After that break was caught under control, it came down to these final cobbled climbs, those cobbled sectors. And we saw Jumbo Visma really starting to put the pressure on. It was Nathan Van Hoyduck setting things up for the Molenberg climb, around about 50 to 40 kilometers out. And there, thanks to Nathan's work, we saw Dylan Van Barl hit the ignition and just go launch. And he pulled away Jonathan Milan, Florian Vermeers, and LeBur from Arkea. LeBur stayed with them as long as he could until we got to the cobbled Murr, Kappel Murr climb, that famous cobbled climb, leading over to the Bosberg and leading here to the final in Ninove, the old turf Flanders finish. Dylan Van Barl, he rode a master race to get this victory today getting rid of each of those guys one by one to come here and celebrate the victory. But behind, it was Jumbo Visma who was riding in defense. We were looking for teams like Ineos Grenadiers, looking for teams like Sudal, Quick Step, like Lotto, Destiny out there to do something today. But it was Jumbo Visma who really took this first Cobble Classic in its hands today because behind, when others started to make their moves, the yellow and black team, they followed. And I'm talking about on the Murr, Kappel Murr, when we saw Tim Wellens, when we saw Bahrain Victoria start to set things up. Tim Wellens and his new UAE Team Emirates team attacked. Also, Matej Morhich, but marking them was Christoph Laporte, one of the favorites for eventual bunt sprint, if it came down to that. And then marking another move back behind with Tom Pitcock, it was Nathan Van Hoy Duncan. Of course, also we had Jan Tratnik in the yellow and black team working all day so well for the team. So nothing could be done to stop Dylan Van Barra or the team from victory. And in fact, when we're looking at what happened there was second and third place in the bunch kick behind Dylan celebrating his victory. Second place went to 20 year old Arnold DeLee, one of the new sprint powerhouses and Laporte picked up third place. So Jumbo Visma got two spots on the podium Fourth place went to Alexander Kristoff and fifth place Tom Pitcock. Kind of a bit of a disappointment for Ineos Grenadiers who are going to be looking to recover from this as we go into Perry Nice, the week long stage race. And then we get out of that, we go to Ghent Wevelgem, the Tour of Flanders, and Perry Roubaix, where Dylan Van Barl won last year. Speaking to Magnus Sheffield, Pitcock's teammate out there, the American, well, he said the race had a bit of everything. Of course, we had the cobbles, but we had the crosswinds of Belgium. We had a hell storm at one point. Right now, we have a bit of sunshine around about eight degrees Celsius out there today. So, pretty darn cold out there for the riders and all the riders that came in here were truly dusted covered with a bit of that Belgian grime getting here to the finish line but everybody's going to be looking ahead to the next races on the horizon with Perry Nice ahead. Jumbo Visma is going to be celebrating tonight Omloop Newsblot victory for Dylan Van Barl first race of the season first race for Jumbo Visma and the team showed they're on top for the start of 2023.